Hey guys, this is Patrick, and today I'm going to show you how to make a muzzle flash shooting effect with a gun in only iMovie HD. And you don't need to buy any other programs for this. Alright, for this you're going to need three things to start out with to make it. First of all, a video of you pretending to shoot a gun, a pistol, or anything like I have here. I pretend to shoot it there, and there's no effect on that right now, as you can tell. Number two, a decent sound effect for a sh shooting of a gun, as I just played right there. And to find one of these, you can go to the internet and go to findsounds.com, which I find is the best, findsounds.com. You can just type in gun shooting sound or something and find the ones you like. It's completely free. You can download it easily. And third, all you're going to need is a picture of a muzzle flash, which would be like what it shoots in front of the gun. And to find this, you can just go to Google Images and type in muzzle flash. And a series of things come up here. And uh, you can choose any of them. Up here, that's what I chose. And they're all good, really. All right, to start off, you're going to need your clip down in the scroll bar. So you can see right there, I can scroll around with my pistol clip. And the first thing you're going to need to go do is look at the video and find out right where it shoots. For me, it's right there. You want to go to that spot right as you start to pull your hand back, which for me is right about here. That's right as I, I'm about to pull my hand back because it's kind of blurry. And once you have it right at that spot, you want to keep it there. And you want to go to your keyboard and hold down Command and then press T. Command T. And once you click that, you should notice that it turns into two different picture squares. That made this two different uh, video files instead of one whole one. It's split in half right where the scroller is. And as you found that spot, go up to File, and go down to Save Frame, and load, it, load for a second, okay, and just put it to your desktop, type in anything, let's do that, oh, yeah, and make sure it's in JPEG format, and then click Save, and as you can see, it went to my desktop. Next, you're going to need to take your picture up here and have a picture editing software. And I bet you're thinking, oh wait, that's not going to be free. But this really good one called Live Courts, you can get by going to Google. Just go to Google and type in Live Courts with a Z at the end. And the first one, free image editing from on Mac, download it. It's really good. And if you download it, I can show you exactly what to do to make the gun effect on there. All right, on live courts, just take your picture and put it on there by dragging it on. And there's your picture of your gun right there. As you can see, it's the same on uh, on iMovie as live courts. And then when it's on there, just take your little muzzle flash picture and drag it on there. And at first, it's going to look kind of big. So if you go to the bottom left, you can see something called scale. It's kind of hard to see, but you'll see it on yours. Scale and drag it down, drag it to the left, and it'll make it smaller. And then make it to about the size that you want it in front of your pistol. All right, now you're thinking, you don't want this black square around the muzzle flash, right? To get rid of the black square, most programs like Apple Works, you'd have to cut around it with like a lasso tool. But this is pretty cool. On Live Courts, there's this tool up here. It looks like an eraser with scissors in it. Click on that. And then click on the black square. Just click and hold and drag, and it'll just disappear so that it's only the muzzle flash. Make sure it's clicked on the side there before you click and drag it and get it away. And once it's there, you want to drag it, make it so it's nice and good in front of your pistol. Go down, rotate it a little bit with this little circle here so it's at the right angle for your pistol. As you can see, I'm rotating it. And make it so it's right about where you think the muzzle flash would be in uh, real life. And have it like that. And once you're done editing it, so it's just like that, go up to the top left, go to File, go to Save As. 
and then uh, just make it untitled and save it to your desktop, whatever. But under format, you don't want it RHIF. Whatever picture editing software you use, I don't know how you do it, but make sure it's a JPEG format. And don't worry about that. And then save to your desktop. And there it is right there. All right, now remember before when you pressed Command T and it made it right here, so it split it in two. As you can see, now there's a line there, so these are two separate ones. You want to go to your untitled file or whatever picture you saved, take the picture and drag it right in between these two, and then it should go in there. Don't worry if it's long at first. I'm going to show you how to change that. All right, now when you first put it on there and you look at it in video, you may see it do this. Start to slowly zoom in, as you can see. And you're like, well, I don't want that. That'll make it look unrealistic. Well, I'm going to show you how to change that right now. To change this crappy zooming in effect, you want to go to Media tab, click on the Media tab, and at the top, click on Photos. And then go down to, make sure this is highlighted too, the picture. Go to Show Photo Settings. And now, the thing you're going to want is first, click Start. You should see this little circle here. Make sure it's clicked on Start. And drag both these tabs all the way to the left. And then click it on End. And make it on End. And make sure both these tabs are all the way to the left. And once both tabs are all the way to the left on end and start, click update. Alright, now you should notice that it kind of stays there for a second, like pause, and then it does that. Just to change this, go to the side. You should see your little picture tab here. Go to the side, click it, and drag it all the way to the left until it's as small as it can be, the little tab. And then, once you've done all these things, it's as small as it could be, because you could drag to the left to make sure, under Media and Photo Settings, that it was perfect. Now, if you go to the back, if you did everything right and do it, it should look something like this. Now, the last thing you're going to need to do is put the sound in there, right? Because you're going to want a sound of shooting. So, go to your desktop, find the file for the sound shooting, click and drag it to the line underneath your video file line and once it's there make it so the start of this sound the purple sound file is right at the start of the tab that's your picture so the start of this is at the start of that and once you've put all these things together it should sound something like this and that is how to make a gun shooting effect on iMovie HD. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment box or message me directly through your inbox. And also, if you think you did something wrong, tell me what looks wrong and I'll try and direct you through that in the comments or in messages. And thanks for watching.